Hi, I'm Dr. Joy Vargis, senior consultant neurosurgeon and endovascular neurosurgeon, Apollo Specialty Hospital, Weimar. Today, I'm going to talk about minimally invasive neurosurgery. You all must be aware about brain tumors and other vascular malformations like aneurysms and the arteriovenous malformations being operated under microscope. We had been doing this type of surgery since 1980s. After the MRI and CT scan, everything came in the scientific armamentarium. This surgery was very much prevalent all these years. Now, in the last 10-15 years, there has been an addition of endovascular neurosurgery and endoscopic neurosurgery in big way in neurosurgery. What is this endoscopic neurosurgery and endovascular neurosurgery? These are two types of surgeries which enable a neurosurgeon to execute the neurosurgery otherwise being done by under the microscope in minimally invasive manner. For example, an aneurysm which is inside the brain which has bled and the patient comes unconscious due to the bleeding inside the brain, undergo endovascular coiling of the aneurysm or otherwise a flow diversion treatment so that he is cured of the aneurysm bleeding without opening the skull. In endoscopic surgery, this type of surgery is being used for skull based tumors. You may be knowing what is the skull based tumors, if you don't know, understand that the brain is placed inside the skull and the skull has got a platform on which the brain is settled. Through this platform, through different holes, different arteries enters into the brain to supply blood, different veins come out of the brain to release the blood from the brain, different cranial nerves which are small small nerves which supply our muscles in the throat, muscles in the eyes, muscles in the ear, the face and so on comes out of the brain and supply these tissues. So when a tumor happens in the platform where the brain is sitting, it is natural that the tumor engulfs these nerves and the arteries and the vein and it becomes extremely difficult to operate and take out these tumors. Earlier we used to do with microscope or under microscope. Now we are doing this with a combination of microscope, endoscope and endovascular surgery. We call it minimally invasive because earlier when we used to do these tumor surgeries, we had to open a bigger corridor to reach the tumor. And now with endoscopic surgeries, we can do it through the hole in the nose or we can put a hole on the skull and through that we can operate and so on. How does the endovascular neurosurgery help is? Some of these tumors are very, very vascular. So what we do is, before the operation, by endovascular neurosurgery, by passing small, small catheters inside the blood vessel supplying the tumor, we cut off the blood supply and then it helps us to operate these tumors without much difficulty, without much bleeding, giving very good clinical recovery. This is minimally invasive neurosurgery, where a combination of microscopic surgery, endoscopic neurosurgery, and endovascular neurosurgery are taken together to give the best result for the patient through minimum corridor surgery.